Jason, what happened there uh, late in the second quarter when you, you lost that nine point lead and also in the third quarter when they outscored you by nine? Um, well, I think uh, we won the second quarter. Um, no, they were good. They're, they're a team of runs. Uh, they went on a run. And again, um, we gave up 30 points in that, in that third. Um, just understanding you can't give them second opportunities. When you give them second opportunities, Clay and Steph and Wiggins, Wiggins is playing at a high level for them. And uh, they've been here before. So they understand what they have to do. And they did it, you know, tonight. Jason, you talked about Wiggins. He might be their fifth best player, sixth best player some nights, and he's a former number one pick. You don't have a player like that on your roster outside of Luca. Does that just speak to maybe the talent disparity of the both of both of the rosters right now? Um, well, we're not gonna match uh, the guy for guy. Um, we got we got to throw our team at their team, and uh, yeah, Wiggins is a talented player. He's an all star. Um, and so when you look at what they're asking him to do, he's doing it at a high level. Um, again, uh, second opportunities, 18 second chance points against the Warriors. It, it's, it just puts you in a bad situation. Um, and when we're not shooting the ball straight, um, it really, you know, puts a lot of pressure on our defense. And, uh, you know, to give up 109 um, to a very uh, offensive minded team, you can, you, you should be in the game. You should have a chance to win. This wasn't, so-called their, their best game, um, but they found a way to win. Jason, uh, two straight games, Lucas scored 40-plus, 40, 40 haven't been able to win, uh, obviously, either one of those. Uh, how do you feel about kind of his individual brilliance versus versus balance, or is it just a case of, hey, guys are getting shots and, and, and not, not knocking them down? Um, I think there's a combination. Um, we just didn't shoot the ball well. You know, Reggie's 0 for 10. Dorian's two for seven or is it three for seven? Um, you know, when you look at the three guys who scored, Spencer, LD, and, and JB, um, that's just not enough against the Warriors. You know, you need you need a lot more guys to participate offensively, but we're getting good looks and they're just not dropping. Again, I've said this jump shooting teams, we're gonna live and die by the three, but we're we're also dying by not getting the rebound um and giving them second opportunities. Coach, uh, Reggie had a great morning, got a great award, and but then uh, certainly had a struggling night and uh, also may have, I guess, had an injury. Could you just talk about the course of the day and uh, how tough tonight's game was for him? Yeah, um, well, we're not judging Reggie on this one game. Reggie's been incredible for us all season. Um, he never complains. He comes to work um, in a great mood, true pro. Um, he, he got a big-time award. Uh, you know, today for what he does off the floor. Uh, but he, listen, when, you know, um, all the great shooters have been there. He makes some, he miss some. And uh, he's a pro. He'll be ready to go tomorrow. And uh, he'll be ready for game four. But the things that we've asked him to do on the defensive end um, on this journey, um, he's doing it at a very high level. And uh, unfortunately, he just didn't make shots. Um, it's kind of cool that he didn't make shots, but he was only in minus five. You know, in the in the plus minus, that that's pretty cool. Um, that you don't score or make a shot, um, but you compete on the other end, and and that's who he is. Uh, Jason, uh, we all know the numbers when you're down three zero in a series. What kind of message do you send or try to send to your team now? Yeah, it's just one one game. Get ready for uh, for game four, and just that's all we can focus on. Um, I, I think I said this in the last series. Um, this is just the beginning of this journey. I know you guys had us winning the winning the championship before the season started, um, and that's a joke if you didn't get it. But this is this is a lot bigger than just this one game or this series or this. This is huge for our franchise um, because none of you guys had us here. You guys were all supposed to be on vacation, um, and, and yeah, I know. And and so it, it's cool to go through this. And we're going against, um, you can call them a dynasty. Um, I saw this in San Antonio where you, you go against, the, the. they have three great players who will be uh, all Hall of Famers. Uh, and this is a great lesson learned from us. This isn't, you know, the end. This is just the beginning. I said this in the Phoenix series, if you guys recall. You guys got good memories. Um, 
that this is just this is the beginning of, of the journey, and uh, and we'll be ready to go uh, for Game Four. Jason, uh, speaking of going through things, uh, you guys have bounced back, been a good bounce back team all season, but I don't think you would have to bounce back from losing a 19 point lead in Game Two of the Western Conference Finals. Do you think that there was any hangover at the start of this game? You fell behind, you did battle back, but I wonder if they're early going, you, you sensed any hangover? No, I I didn't think there was any hangover. We we got great looks. The ball went in and out, you know, no different than in game two. Um, the ball just didn't fall for us. Um, and that happens uh, in the game of basketball or any sport. Sometimes the ball falls for you, sometimes it doesn't. We got great looks. Um, again, it's a 10 point game. It's an eight point game. Um, we just can get over the hump. Um, you got to give the Warriors credit for that. Jason, you mentioned the whole experience part of it. Do you think that you or even your team can appreciate the experience that you're getting just in getting this far, regardless of the result? Um, I would say yes and no. Um, you know, when you're in battle, you're not thinking about the bigger picture. You just focus on the, the, the thing at hand, and that's trying to get a, make a, a basket or get a stop. But as we reflect uh, this summer, whenever that starts, we'll, we'll understand what we did um, and how we can get better. Um, and that, that's the that's the blessing of this whole thing is, you know, we, we truly believe we belong here um, and we're going to keep fighting. Um, but we're also going to get better from this experience. Jason, when you look at the, the, the missed threes, the offensive rebounds, do you sense fatigue at any point? in any way could be just adding up at, at this point with how many minutes you've played Luca starting injured, you know, just the, the lack of off days. Yeah. You're going to have to ask them that question. I, I'm, I don't have too much uh, uh, movement when I stand up or sit down. Um, so um, you, you, that that's a player's question of, uh, are they tired? They're just following up on that though, 47, 33 rebounding 18, four second chance points. I know you're, you're playing small lineups. What what do you see as far as what factors in the rebound being that lopsided? Yeah, we just have to, you know, be physical and make contact um, to keep them from crashing. Um, a lot of times the hit is too late. And so uh, when you're playing small, we have to just, you know, we got to hit first. We can't hit second. Thanks.